Hey y'all, my name is Lily Grace Garrett, and as you may or may not know, I recently went on a mission trip to Puerto Rico, and I just wanted to take a couple minutes to share with you one of the many experiences I had where God worked in me and in others' lives. So, the specific event I wanted to share with you was when we went to the college campus to minister to local college students. This was unlike anything that I had ever done before because I had always felt uncomfortable walking up to strangers that were young adults or older teenagers out of the fear that they would turn me away or I would say something wrong. Um, another thing that was really intimidating was the change in scenery because in Puerto Rico you never know who you're going to walk up to or if they'd even heard of the Bible before. But here, since we are in the Bible Belt, most people have at least heard of what the Bible was before. So I wanted to t not only give you hope and encourage you today, but I also wanted to um, tell you how I was able to discover that I was capable of working up the courage of going up to strangers and sharing my testimony and even some of the gospel with them. And that I was also were able to realize that there were others there on the same mission we were, um, but they were there locally on their own college campus um, looking to spread the gospel in their own way. Um, in the midst of sharing the gospel, two people from our group, Alyssa and Caleb, walked up to a guy with a guitar and shared the gospel with him just to find out that he was only waiting for his friend to get there so that they could worship under the tree together. They then invited Alyssa and Caleb to worship with them later. We then saw um, Alyssa and Caleb and they came up to us um, and asked us if we wanted to go with them to worship once his friend got there. So when we later saw his friend was there, we uh, asked them if we could worship with them and so we did. And we were able to uh, see people walk by smiling as they watched us worship. We were also able to hear um, part of Reuben and his friend's story of how this was their third time worshiping under the tree together, but how we had given them hope because they had previously been there um, and nobody had said anything or walked up to them um, about their worship. And so how we had given them hope and we, they felt like we were making a difference. Um, on the college campus. Um, it was also really cool to see how once Reuben was praying in between songs, he um, was praying that we for a difference on the college campus. And he was also praying that anybody that walked by that needed to hear us singing, that they would um, walk up and join us if they felt led to. And it was amazing to see how God's prayer was answered immediately because as soon as we opened our eyes and raised our heads, we turned around to see a guy from the college campus standing there um, looking to join us in worship. And um, I don't know, it was just kind of like a confirmation that God's timing is perfect and um, it is something that God let, laid on my heart not only then but he has been doing uh, so much recently that his timing and his plan is perfect. Um, and that through everything, God will always be there. He's always there, even if we aren't. So I just wanted to share this story with you to um, not only encourage you that um, you can do anything through God, and but also to give you hope that like even though mission trip trip teams may not be in certain areas, mission work is still being done. So yeah, that's what I want to share with you. So thank you for listening.